Welcome back, fellow adventurers, to Pillars of Eternity 2 Dead Fire. We're going into the palace. Wait. You may visit the palace and its shrine, but be warned. Uh, okay. I didn't expect this. No, this is a blind playthrough from Path of the Damned. The Queen meets with trading company Vipers. Take care you are not bitten. Is that a metaphor or is that true? Are there U and T here? Uh, that's a strange way to speak about your allies. What's behind that? The guard gives an untroubled shrug. I'll keep that in mind. The guard gestures toward the door, dismissing you. All right. A warning we've received. What is this? enemies of that strange throne not that we like a throne but let's see what this is all about a feathered woman man woman while i am flattered by the esteemed hazali's confidence i must wonder how my people are meant to have destroyed an entire colony overnight the Valiant Dignitary aims a withering lock across the idol. A middle-aged woman with a square jaw and tar-stained teeth meets it. You tell us. It's no coincidence that your outpost at Port Maje survived the recent storm. She pulls a slender pipe from her pocket, but at a look from the Queen's attendants, she puts it away. You speak as if I could command the tides, while you are casting your blame in a wide net. Why not look to our Kahunga? We do not share their talent for shaping water. Now blaming it on someone else. A sizable Aumawa standing by the throne takes a bold step forward and flares his nostrils at the assembled dignitaries. A hush falls over the room. I see our guest forgets himself. He clears his throat and sweeps his gaze from Nero to the rest of the room. Brother, stand down. Up to this point, the Queen has studied the proceedings with an even expression. She half rises from her throne as she fixates on Prince Aruihi. You are the one who mistakes my throne room for a sparring arena. I say this is beneath us. As Aruihi lowers his head, the Queen slowly centers her gaze on you and leaves it there. An interesting visitor in difficult times. You cannot be here to deliver a favorable omen. Though her mouth doesn't move, Onekaza's voice comes to you like an insistent memory nestled among your surface thoughts. Um, a favorable omen. Uh, we never come with favorable omens. <laughs> Should we shrug? No, we'll shake our head. <laughs> Are we, are we that honest, or do we want something from her? I mean, she's, she's an authority figure. But we have started to become rich enough to survive, so we will not bend to her anymore. Shake your head. Gods remember the honest, and so do I. Onikaze nods. Allow me to apologize as I toss you before the wolves. Though she turns to the dignitaries, you still feel her attention on you. This blessed by Tangaloa. I suspect that many of our questions about her songo will soon be answered. Oh, great. The Queen's voice fills the expansive throne room, leaving you with a hushed silence to fill. Ah, uh, Hazongo. Hazongo? Well, we'll start with things that we know, right? They made sure your colonies were the work of the gods. We don't believe in the gods, even though we know they exist, but we don't recognize they, them as gods. So, if it pleases the court, I've journeyed from a crippled Port Marge. I know this one. His parlor tricks frightened ten years of every sailor in Queen's Burg. <laughs> Raising her hand for silence, Onikaza looks to her brother. He approaches and they exchange a few words too quietly to hear. She lifts her gaze to you once more. To discuss the darkening of Hasongo, one of Rawatai's colonies. Watcher, it seems you have the floor. She opens her palm and waits. 
Hasongo. Um, well, Port Marjorie suffered similar damage when Eothas passed through, so. Oh, we could say that, being rational. It's possible that Eothas only paused at Hasongo on his way to parts unknown. Nero crosses his arms, looking distinctly uncomfortable. How came a watcher from half the world away to be involved in these happenings? Enlighten the court. Well, um, in this case, I think we're, we're definitely passionate. Because we don't want these strange gods to do their mischief anymore. Everyone's in danger while Eothas walks. I must do something. Silence descends on the hall. Courtiers and delegates eye one another, seemingly gorging which of them will be first to love. A stern look from Queen Nonakaza turns every questioning glance to stone. Priests will trip over their feet to interpret his divine plan. Watcher, can you cut through the din and tell for what he comes to the dead fire? Ah. Oh. <laughs> he? Hmm. I need to find him first or die trying again. <laughs> I plan on using other pillars to track and ultimately confront Eothas. Um, I don't know if we want to use other pillars. We'll just say this. The gods are no mystery to me. Eothas will answer for his actions. Onikaza spreads her hands, calmly assured of her reasoning. Something to add, Hazanui? You have an eager look about you. She add believes her herself own. entitled to my ear, I say. Ah, that's an admiral, then. Only that Hasongo is a Rautayan outpost. It would be useful for the Watcher to take one of ours alone. She inclines her chin at another woman standing nearby. Composed Amawa stands at attention, her furrowed brow cleaving down otherwise warm features. By her feet, a colorful bird preens itself without concern. An expert sailor and a better sharpshooter, the best the brass citadel has to offer. She looks you in the eye and gives you a slow nod. If it comes your way, she'll see it first. If it gets me and Ashiza out of diplomat duty, we'd set sail with a drunk scolder at the helm. Maya sighs with resignation and nudges her bird affectionately with her toe. You mean to stop Eothas by shooting? Seri Pelagina will go with the watch. Show him how the Republic's handle things. Nero waves airily. The guard behind him cuffs politely. Your Excellency, Pelagina Messerai has been banished? She has been seen in Queen's Bears. I can add a report to headquarters. Nero silences the guard with a withering look and a sharp gesture. You should feel no obligation to take on additional crew. The choice is yours. Yeah, we'll take her along in the crew, but we'll not... Yeah. I've always said how I handle this. This is a custom run, but we'll still take these along for the occasional uh, story quest. I'll take Maya. Always good to have a rifle on hand. I'll shoot the tip off a green boy's nose. She said, looks up at Maya and wobbles something agreeable. Making a mistake, watch. In times like these, trustworthy allies are the most valuable asset of all. Calm down, Nero. I'm sure you'll get one of your spies in place eventually. A lazy half smile tugs at her mouth. In the meantime, watcher, I hope you'll meet me in the brass citadel. There's more for us to discuss among friendlier company. She glares briefly at Nero. I believe we are finished here. Are we here? Queen Onakaza rises from her throne, and the surrounding guards stand at immediate attention. Take care at 
Tosongo. The dead fire was over full before Aethus blundered in. And the cousin nods to you as he adjoins. Your allies will use you toward any end. Do not give your trust lightly. <laughs> she doesn't have to worry about this. Onikaza clears her throat and sweeps the room with her gaze. It is beyond time our guests lick their wounds somewhere else. He banishes the foreign dignitaries with a swift and unmistakably disgusted wave. Oh, this guy could be interesting to have as an ally. Yeah, let's, let's just take her as a ranger. It's okay. Well, let's level up. Look at that. All of us got a level up. Very nice. So, we would like more, maybe, athletics. Yes. He's our athletics tank, so to say. He's very good at that. And uh, survival as well. But streetwise and intimidate. At least intimidate is pretty good. Physical imposition, raw intensity, and overt threats. Intimidate allows a character to leave other lurkers shaken and cowed. Not everyone responds well to intimidation. It can be used as an effective tool of persuasion. Uh, well, mm, I think I want. Yeah, she has even better survival now, so we can make him more intimidating, maybe. So, what what ability will we have here? The mule kick um, could be cool. Oh, we already have that, of course. A penetrating strike. Fighter strikes their target with devastating force, gaining significant additional penetration during the attack. Mm, we're more more like a tank, right? So, Bull's Will would be pretty cool. Hold the line as well, but... Into the fray. I don't know. That's never worked for, for me very good, so... We'll look at... Uh, I think Bulls will. But this is also good. Rapid recovery. Upgraded from constant recovery. Charged by the rush of battle, the fighter will continually regenerate health at a modest rate. Seven health per three seconds, five health. Ah, oh, yeah, that's that's good. That's good. That's just what we want. Let's make ourselves better. What would we like? Mechanics is pretty cool for us. Slate of hand. Mm -hmm. Let's go for mechanics first. And a little bit more bluff. Oh, we have two abilities. New power level unlocked. Let's see. Finishing blow could do that. does that do? Plus 50% damage by percentage of target's health lost. The rogue looks to finish off an injured opponent with a precise deadly strike that increases in damage the more health the target is missing. Seems good. Strike the bell. That also seems good. And what else do we have here? Adapted evasion. Converting nearly all reflex targeting graces to misses. Engagement limit increases and enemies engaged by the rogue are distracted. That's also cool. Additional defense against disengagement attacks. Also pretty cool. Mm. But I think survival is what we want most. Meaning Adept Evasion will be what we want here first and uh, 
Strike the bell is also cool. Rogue strikes their target violently in the head, interrupting them. Hmm. Finishing blow is also cool. Ah, there's so much that is so cool. Will defense would be cool too. That's so easy. It's 10 will. That's really powerful. Concentration, snakes, reflexes. No, we don't need snakes, reflexes. Bears fortitude is interesting, but not needed. Hmm... Yeah, I think we'll we'll make it further defensive this time. I mean, persistent distraction is also cool. Distracted. Let's see a little bit more about distracted. No. Hmm. I mean, it's really cool, but. Bull's will is basically the prerequisite for us. And actually, uh, my time is running out, so let's go for the next three character at the start of the next episode. Have a great time until next time, and happy gaming! It was great having you here.